Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a really interesting book on real analysis. So what is real analysis? Well, it depends. Uh, if you're talking about like undergraduate real analysis, people would say that's advanced calculus. If you're talking about graduate level real analysis, people would say that's measure theory. So what is this book? It's actually both. This book has advanced calculus and measure theory. It actually has a lot of good information and it reads extremely well. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents. And before we go through it, let me just mention that this book is intended for senior undergraduate students or first year graduate students. It is not really considered a beginner book. However, the readability of this book is so good that I would say if you can find a copy for a few dollars, it is worth buying. So it starts off with topological concepts and the elements of set theory. This is really common in a lot of math books and it's good because it reinforces what you know and it makes you feel good. People like reading things they understand. If you've seen some set theory, you'll probably understand quite a bit of the information in this book at the beginning. Then it goes into spaces of functions. It talks about vector spaces, metric spaces. These are things you've probably seen if you're reading this book. Then it goes on to talk about topology. It's a really nice review of topology. Uh, if you've already had a course in topology and you're reading this, this is a pleasure to read. It goes over convergence, completeness, compactness, connectedness, all of the key topological concepts. Then it talks about continuous functions, uniform continuity, homeomorphisms, etc. Then we enter part two of the book. Part two is on measure theory. So this is considered graduate level analysis for sure. It talks about the extended real line, uh, variation, the Lebesgue measure, integration, differentiation, and more stuff here, even sign measures at the end. This book is very different from other books. Um, here's an example. This is the section on metric spaces. Here it actually defines a pseudometric. That's not something you often hear. And then it goes on to clarify what a metric is. So it is a little bit different uh, than a lot of the books. And here it goes on for any pseudometric row on S. And it goes on to define uh, the open sphere. So it's written a little bit differently than a lot of the books um, you see today. The book does actually have exercises. However, um, it does not have solutions, so it does not make this uh, a great book for self-study. So I would only recommend getting this book if you can get it uh, inexpensively. You know, it's a pretty good book. It's a pretty good reference. If you ever need to look up a definition or you're just looking for something to read for a little while and just refresh your memory on some concepts, this book uh, does a good job. So that's it. The book, again, is Introduction to the Methods of Real Analysis. It's a nice book because it has uh, both undergraduate and graduate level analysis. However, um, it is a tough read and it does not have solutions to the exercises. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. Take care.